good intentions can be a powerful motivation for actions, but they can also be a trap that can lead to harmful outcomes. Take Save the Bees. While the movement broadly aims to protect declining bee populations, it often focuses on honeybees, which are essential for many food crops. The most popular solution is wildflower seed mixes. They're simple, easy to implement, and make us feel like we're helping. The problem? First, those packages often contain non-native and even invasive seeds that outcompete our native wildflowers and damage ecosystems. And second, honeybees themselves aren't native. They're an introduced species that are essentially managed livestock. Not only does the focus on honeybees distract from our native bees, which are also in decline, the introduced wildflowers reduce the native plants that our native bees rely upon. So what are the best ways to help our native bees? As for most conservation efforts, the biggest thing we can do is conserve habitat. If you have a garden, plant natives and reduce the use of insecticides. Critical thinking, a focus on impact, and a willingness to learn are crucial to avoid the trap of unintended consequences.